hey everybody you were in the kitchen with Julie today now I don't know what's going on with my camera hey I don't know what's going on with my camera. I've got every light in this kitchen off right now. Just trying to... Are you serious? Okay, I'm back. I hope you can see me. I turned the ring light off. I have the light on behind the camera on. So let's see if that kind of equals out a little bit. Because I couldn't even see in here. I still can't see too good. It's so dark, I can't even... I, ain't, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to read the measuring cup because everything over here is dark. Okay, since I got that foolishness taken care of over there. We are making something to get ready for Thanksgiving. Yes, I love Thanksgiving. And I mean, you get to spend time with friends and family. And, of course, you get to eat food. And we all love food. So, today, we are making something quick and easy because we're all about easy. So, we are making a no-baked cheesecake, but it's pumpkin. So, it's a pumpkin no-baked cheesecake. Now, in my stuff that we're going to need today is milk. This box of Jello, I mean, a Jello Classic Cheesecake No-Bake. A can of pumpkin. Here comes Aaron. Don't slam the door. This is your pumpkin in a can. Now, you can get the regular pumpkin, which I did, or you can get the kind that is ready to mix with milk that is ready for pies. Do you need to go by? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and go by. All right, there went the flash. So, anyway, you can get the one that is already made up for pies. Now, I don't even understand what he did right now because he went from the back door straight through the house went out the front door. No other stops. Anyway, so this one does not have any sugars in it. It is pure pumpkin. It doesn't have the cinnamon, the nutmeg, whatever is in pumpkin pie. It doesn't have all that in it. You can get that that is already mixed, like you would just mix milk with it, pour it in your pie shell and bake it, and you would have a pumpkin pie. You can get that one, and it already has the spices in it. I did not want that. So, I'm just using the plain pumpkin. But like I said, you can use either one. We've got whipped topping. You'll need a measuring cup for your milk. And I got a couple of spoons out because that way I don't have to mix the pumpkin spoon with the Cool Whip. Mix a bowl and your whisp. Okay, and this is the graham cracker crust. Now, in this box, it already has a crust in it that you can put in your own pie shell. Well, I already had one of these, so this is what we're gonna use. So I'm just gonna mix up the mixture inside for just the cheesecake. Then I can use that mixture for the, the shell later, you know, you know. So we're just going to get the filling pack out. Now, if you were doing this, it's very simple. It is mainly just sugar, butter, you melt the butter, then you mix it with this. It gets a little moist. Moist. Then you just press it into your pie shell. But like I said, I already have one of these, so this is what I'm going to use. So, we're going to set this aside. And the directions are on the box of everything that you need for your stuff. So, we are going to use the number two package, which is your filling. Now, all this filling calls for is... It's so freaking dark in here, I can't hardly see. Is one and a half cups of milk. That is it. That is it. One and a half cups of milk. Now it says use your your little hand mixer for about two minutes, then mix it up, then do it for three more minutes. We're just using a whisk. Whisk. Excuse me, I said whisk. Okay, so we're gonna put that in the bowl. Like so. We're going to get rid of this box and this. Set it to the side. Now these, if you're... <coughs> oh, God. Okay, pour slowly. Good God, I'm mosey. That is some powder right there, y'all. Okay, so you're going to take this off of there. And see that little thing stringing up? Ow! That is the glue. Don't want that. So you're going to go around the edge. And you're going to... Pull these little edges up. Be careful. 
that is aluminum. It can cut you. It's a metal. It's thin. If you go sticking your thumb around there and slide it around, you're going to get cut. Then you're going to have some extra flavoring in your, in your pie. Chances are you probably wouldn't throw it away. You still you'd be like, well, I got to use it. But anyway, so then you're going to just pop this little shell off like that. And what this does is when you finish your pie, this is your little top. You put it back on there. You poke that little metal thing down, and you've got your own little topper. Ain't that cool? So don't ever throw those away. Use them for when your pie is done. And then you've got a lid for it. And then you don't have to get a saran wrap out, try to find some, some covering. Okay, so we're going to set this aside. And we're going to measure out our one and a half cups. I had to run to the store and get some more day milk. My milk went out of date two days before it was supposed to. Okay, so we're working on... one and a half will be right there we're gonna pour it in oh man i should open my can up that way y'all don't have to see me struggle to open my can in a second you will need that okay so we're gonna mix this up like it says on the box you know to use the the handheld mixer you know but I just grabbed this because I didn't feel like getting it out. And we're just going to mix and mix and mix until it gets thicker. When it gets thicker, oh, this kind of hurt my shoulder. I should have got the mixer out. It'll be all right. It doesn't take it long to thicken up. It's sort of like when you're making banana, I mean, uh, banana pudding and you're using that vanilla pudding instant mix. It's just like that. You're going to mix it up until it gets thick. Make sure you get all them lumps out of there. Let me see if I can use the other arm. No, nope. we're gonna go back to that one. No pain, no gain. Okay, so we're mixing this up. Now it does say, after you mix this up, you pour it in here, you're supposed to chill it for an hour, then it gets, you know, to the consistency that it's supposed to. So I'm probably gonna have to do that. Now I'm gonna turn the camera off and you won't even know what happened. If I wouldn't have said nothing, you wouldn't have known. But I told you because I wanted you to know what was going on because this is what's going to happen when you're doing it. Oh man, that looks nice and smooth. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to pour it out, but you're going to see me pouring it in here. So, that looks so good. Okay, so we're going to pour this into our graham cracker crust pie shell. Not a regular pie shell that you bake in the oven because this is a no-bake. So you just need the graham cracker. Now that is really starting to thicken up a lot. So we're going to pour it in here. Oh yeah, that is looking right. Make sure y'all can see me there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, that looks so good. And then you're going to just kind of spread it out a little bit. I'm going to put this in the sink. Now, what we're going to be doing next is and I think I might be able to do this without having to chill this for an hour first. So that's what I'm going to try to do. That way you can kind of see. Then I'm going to, I really am going to put it in the refrigerator for a little while before we cut it and eat this. But I would like to get it chilling when it's all set up. So, you're going to open your little can of, yep, smells like pumpkin. Now, of course, the pumpkin with all the spices and the sugar would be a little extra sweet. This one here is just going to have pumpkin flavor for me. I've got the cheesecake. I don't need to add any extra sugar to this, if you know what I mean. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and put some on top. Okay. We're going to smooth it very gently because we have not chilled this, remember? So, it is not real thick. So, we're going to ever so gently rub this in there and we are just smoothing this on the outside of this we are not dipping down into the cheesecake you know we ain't shoving it in this little hole or nothing i'm just saying so we're going out to the edge we're using the back of our spoon and just lightly pushing it around 
So don't get heavy handed and shoving it down in there. All right, here we go. We're almost all the way to the edge. And I'm, I'm telling you, that looks really good. And it's got that nice pumpkin smell to it. Now, if you buy a can like this and you want to add a little bit of sugar, some cinnamon, and some nutmeg, do that. Just get your little bowl, pour it in there, mix up cinnamon and nutmeg in there, and you've got the stuff that already comes in the can pretty much. You can even add a little bit of brown sugar. Would be, oh my gosh, amazing. You know, that extra sugar, just stir it up really, really, really good, and then put it on there. Okay, now, all we've got left to do is... Our Cool Whip. Yep, that's it right there. So, you're going to take your Cool Whip and you're going to put it on top and you're going to smooth it out. Use the back of that spoon and go back and forth. And you're just going to keep on going. Okay. That's all we're doing. Going to the edge. We're just trying to cover it. Keep going back and forth. Now I do like some Cool Whip. Mmm. Okay. But like I said, if you get the pie filling that is already mixed up with the sugar, the cinnamon, nutmeg, it will add more flavor to this. I did not want all that, like I said. And like I said, if you want to buy the pumpkin that is just pure pumpkin, 100% pumpkin, you can add those ingredients to that. This can is a little bit cheaper than the other one, of course, because it doesn't have all those extra ingredients. Now, all we have to do now is put our little lid back on there, just like this. And, I, and mine is kind of thick, so hopefully it don't touch the top too much. And we're gonna take this, put it in the refrigerator. It says for one hour, and, that, and, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to stick with what it's supposed to be. So one hour, in the refrigerator. I'm going to go sit up here and watch some Hallmark channel, some, some Christmas movies, and hope I don't forget about it. And then I'm going to get it back out, and I'm going to cut it, and we're going to try this together and see if I should have used the one with the spices already in it, or if it's just as good with the regular pumpkin. And I will give you my honest opinion, trust me. All right. Oh, I got my handy-dandy remote over here. All right, so I'm going to turn you off, and I'll turn you back on in about one hour. I just wanted to show y'all that my buddy's in here with me while I'm doing this pie. She got to make sure I'm okay. She a good girl. My Molly Sue. Hey everybody, we are back. The pie has been in there for about uh, 50 minutes. I did fall asleep on my chair. With my hand like this, so I probably got this big red spot on my face. And so, what we're going to do, we're going to cut the pie, we're going to try it, and see if we should use regular canned pumpkin, or if we should just go ahead and splurge and get the can that has all the spices and stuff in it. I will gladly let you know. Okay. Take that little lid off. Hopefully it comes out good. I've never tried this recipe before, but I did see it on Facebook. And I was like, you know what? That's too easy. We're going to try that. Put my ring light in the way. All right. And I just thought that would go so good with, you know, the holidays coming up. Oh, it looks like I'm going to be able to get it out. So I'm going to pull it out. I don't know if we can... If the Cool Whip had not... Okay, I'm going to move the Cool Whip. That way you can see that it has that layer. Hope you can see that. Ooh, that's about as far as I can reach. Maybe I can come a little closer. See how that layer is? Yeah, it's in there. Okay, so now to taste it. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay. All right, here we go. This is it, y'all.
You get that whole cheesecake effect, the pumpkin flavor. Now, it is really good. Now, I don't like really super sweet stuff. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But, if you don't mind spending the money, I would go ahead and get the one that has the sugar, the nutmeg, and spices in it. But this is really good. It's really good, but you do have the raw pumpkin flavor. You don't have that cinnamon and stuff like you would a pumpkin pie. So I suggest doing this recipe, but use the canned pumpkin that is ready made for pumpkin pie. And all you have to do is add milk. Do not add the milk. Just use the pie filling in that can. And it would definitely be better. Because then you would have those extra ingredients, you know, to spice it up a little bit. And you got that whole pumpkin pie flavor. But, this recipe is great. But, do use the other canned pumpkin. It would be totally worth it. Alright, well, this is all I've got for you today. Hopefully you can use this recipe for your Thanksgiving meal, whenever that may be, or your gatherings. It only has to be Thanksgiving. Pumpkin is good any time of the year. Um, I will be doing another video that has cranberries in it to make your own cranberry salad, cranberry sauce, whatever you want to call it, for Thanksgiving. That is an upcoming video that will be put out before Thanksgiving. So, just wanted to let y'all know that. And my, I don't know if y'all check YouTube lately, but my subscribers have gone up. And I'm very thrilled about that. I haven't reached 100 yet, but getting so close. So, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Hit the like button. Hit the notification button. That way you'll know when our videos are coming out. And thanks for letting me come into your home and you watching my show. And I just want to thank you very much. And if you would, please subscribe. Leave me comments, um, notes, whatever. If you have a recipe that you want me to try out, just let me know. And I will be glad to do that. And I hope you all have a wonderful holiday. Like I said, Thanksgiving is coming up. I hope you get to spend it with your family. So, I'm going to end it here. And you're good to go with your pie now. And uh, I think I'm going to finish this off while I watch some more TV or snooze a little more this afternoon. <laughs> All right, I will talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.